So this is a Timo Porches a mini doorbell. So it came with this packaging. And on the packaging, it does show that it's supposed to be long battery life, cloud storage service, and you can get notification to your smartphone and it has a night vision. And this all came, um, these are the two items. Well, there's more, there's a little bit wire for charging, but this is um, the doorbell. You can hear that sound. And then there's a receiver with a USB connection. And those are the other um, contents. So it comes with the screws that you used to um, screw it to the wall too, and a little mini charger that you can use. And here's the instructions that came with it. It's really small. So unless you have a lens or you use your phone, you can read it. Or uh, glasses. I have glasses, but it didn't. It was too small. But you get what you pay for. <laughs> so th here's the instructions. So you are able to download the mode of app, which is the Tuya, T-U-Y-A app in your phone. So you can get the doorbell set up on your phone. So you have, you can scan that a code and then you are able to download the Tuya app, smart app, or you can just type it in your phone. So here's the app when it's downloaded and all you need to do is to register with your email and then set up a password. And as soon as you've downloaded it, I have I have it in my Android phone. Um, it's a Z Flip 6 is what I'm using. So, so you're going to go to your smart app. There it is. So that's the app. If you haven't installed it, install it. It's going to make you just, you know, the usual agree and then register. That's the app. It's orange in color. It's, you just follow the prompt. So you got your email and then you will get a verification code either by text or email. It depends on how you set it up at the beginning, but you will enter the code, which is good. <clears throat> and then you're gonna set a password. And once you've set the password, again, you're just gonna follow the prompts in your phone. Very easy. It's just gonna give you some light reading if you wanna read images. Go to the app, just agree to them. And then you are going to be prompted to add the device. So make sure at this part, you have your Bluetooth on. Because you would want to find that device in your Bluetooth. So I have the doorbell just beside the phone. So it's going to try to find it. If it doesn't find it, there are instructions in the little mini booklet. So it took a little bit to find that. So again, there is instruction. There's a button that you need to press so you can get that doorbell be recognized uh, on your Bluetooth. So I will show it to you. So on that instruction booklet, that's very small. 
there is a particular part there that tells you what to do so you can connect or your mini doorbell will show up in your Bluetooth. So now this is the phone. You're going to go to the settings and go to connections and make sure the Bluetooth is on, which it is. So this is going to work for both Android and um, iPhone, just to make sure. So here's the instruction. Adding a device. It's going to be on that little booklet. So you there is, you're going to go click on the device and then go to the app, the T, the Tuya app. So when you click on that device, it's trying to connect. See, do you see it now? It's now going to show the app. After I press that doorbell button, it's now showing on the Tuya app as an intelligent doorbell. But then you want to make sure that you connect them. They have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi internet at your home, which I'm doing right now. And then it's going to detect the network status and there's your intelligent doorbell so it says added so once you see that on your app you're almost ready to go and use it so that's the back part and of the doorbell there's you can you can detach that later because um that's the one where you attach to the wall and um, you can screw it in. Then that's where you attach the doorbell. So here we are going to connect or pair the doorbell and the ding dong. So they call that a ding dong, that little one with the USB. So you're gonna match them and pair them. So once you attach the doorbell in the front door or at the back wherever you want to put it in the front door it will the the ding dong wherever you are wherever you put it in will ring as well so um this are this is a figure that shows you exactly the parts of each unit that came with it um i'm showing you because it's very little in the actual item itself. So here it says doorbell and ding dong matching. This is the one I was talking to you about. So you're gonna have to power on the ding dong machine on the left, on the figure. So, and then you're gonna long press the pairing button of the ding dong machine for three seconds and then the indicator blinks so make sure you look into it very closely because that indicator is very very small tiny and then you're gonna press the doorbell button um the ding dong machine rings that when it happens the match is successful so just showing you the little booklet where i see the instructions but here's the button that you need to push from the ding dong and then the other one so i did do that and once the ding dong machine rings that means that your matching them has been successful so make sure you listen to the ring and here are the rest of the parts that came with it that those are that's the charger and the screw for the wall so what you hear is that's the sound that you will hear on your phone um once your doorbell is connected in um, has been clicked, um, has been pushed. Um, 
I was showing that to you so you can hear that sound if it's loud enough. So here, I did figure out that you are able to see the history of the video. So right now, I, you're not going to pay anything on this. You're going to see history of the videos that got recorded when you, when you click on the doorbell. So I got this history. It's just going to be the video of the ceiling because right now it's, it was recording while I was um, setting it up. So now I can confirm that it does have a history of the video that gets recorded once the doorbell is, is pushed. So that's good. So now here's what happens when um, someone pulls, you know, when you push the button for the doorbell. So here's your phone. So basically your phone will start ringing or, you know, whatever notification you have it set up. And then you can choose to answer or decline that doorbell and that's what's that's what you see so you can do the view so here's that little USB charger that is included with the purchase plus the screw you do need to charge it before using it and I'm just showing you quickly the information on the box and so here's the included cardboard so it's easy for you to screw the plate on the wall so the plate is in the doorbell so you will have to detach it so i did look for it at the very beginning and i couldn't find it but it's there that's it so you have to take it apart or take it off of it so just be careful get a sharp object to take it out to push it out and then slide it to take it off so it's gonna take a little bit so I slide it off and that's the plate. That's for the wall that you are going to use the screws for. And then make sure before, after you screw that plate on the wall, make sure both the ding dong and the doorbell are charged. And don't use that little charger as well. So I am now outside trying to get this attach it to the wall and now once it's done all you need to do is push slide the doorbell in and you're good to go. That's it. Done.